Um, immigration moves the environment of a community as it creates a more densely populated community, moves it in the direction of more statism. There's simply no way to avoid that. And then finally, immigration artificially increases society's diversity. This isn't Americans having kids at different rates. This is a congressionally generated social engineering um, to increase society's diversity. And this isn't about minority votes for Democrats. This is about new research uh, by the guy who wrote Bowling Alone, Robert Putnam, a, a scholar at Harvard, who has found that increased diversity leads to less and less civic engagement. It's not that whites and blacks all pull into each other's groups. It's not like the Middle East or something. Increased diversity makes people, even within their own groups, less likely to be engaged civically, less likely to attend church, to join the Masons or Hadassah or the PTA, less likely even to have friends over for dinner. Uh, the, the results, he's, he's described these are powerful, overwhelming. This is a left liberal professor who didn't even want to talk about these results, look, spent years looking for alternative explanations and eventually gave up and, because he's an honest guy, said, look, this is the way it is. Immigration increases the effect by, of this by increasing diversity artificially and what it does by weakening the non-governmental institutions that exist between the state and the citizen churches, voluntary institutions, all of these increases the role of the state as non-state institutions increasingly wither and withdraw from public life. There's no way around it. And a bigger state is precisely what we've been trying to avoid here for the past 50 years. In short, immigration is the health of the state. A precondition to shrinking government is shrinking future immigration, legal and illegal. And until we get that through our heads, we're going to be batting our heads against a brick wall in efforts to cut taxes and shrink government. Thank you.